Hi, my name is Andy Frazzini from Pro Digital Gear. We've had many requests regarding how to clear a nozzle clog on the printers. We have a YouTube video up right now on the Epson 880 series. You might remember the old Epson 4880, 7880, 9880 printers. Well, we're going to teach you today how to do that same, very same method on the newer series printers such as the Epson 7700, the Epson 9700, the Epson 7890, 9890, the Epson 7900, the Epson 9900, even the 17 inch printer, the Epson 4900. So the method that we're going to show you has worked for us. We do not want you to think this is a method that Epson has told us about. This is totally something that you'll have to do on your own. We have no liability for any issues that might happen from this method. But we wanted you to know this is how we do it and we have had no issues but success. The other thing is it will save you a lot of money on doing nozzle cleans. Basically if you're having nozzle clog issues and all your nozzles are fine but one color and it consistently has no ink coming through that one nozzle even after what you're going to do after we teach you today then you probably have a problem with your machine and you should call the Epson tech department. So make sure you also watch this video through because at the end, there'll be a promo code for you to use for your next purchase at prodigitalgear.com. Thanks so much for watching and we appreciate the support. So what I've done is I turned the printer on I went to the rear of the machine, but yet at an angle where I could see through the plexiglass, the head. In about a minute, minute and a half or so, you'll hear some noises and then you'll actually see the head start to move out. At that point, we pull the plug from the back of the machine. And it's quite simple to see that the, the head has now come out and it, it's free to move. So what you're gonna need is some ordinary paper towel and some Windex. Make sure it's the original, not the foaming type. And why we use Windex is there's ammonia built inside it. What the ammonia does is it actually, the gases will dissipate your ink clogs. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of paper towel and it's, I've actually doubled it up. You could also use lintless cloth. And I basically saturate the paper towel, but not so that it's dripping, just so that it's wet. It's not falling apart, just nicely saturated. Then we take the paper towel and we actually place it in the track where the print head goes. And we just simply slide the head over and we let it sit there. We shut the case and I normally let it sit overnight and let the ammonia do its job. Then the following morning or maybe eight hours later, we simply open the plastic cover. We slide the head back to the park position all the way to the right and we reach in and take the paper towel out and it will be evident that there will be ink on it. So you want to make sure maybe you use some gloves or something because it will be messy. Make sure you get all the paper towel out and discard it. So we may have to repeat this. You want to do a nozzle check and you do that through your printer driver, the Epson printer driver in the utility tab and just simply print out a nozzle check on a piece of eight and a half by 11 copy machine sheet paper check it out you should see some improvements on your nozzle clog you might have to repeat this two three times um, you might even have to do a cleaning through the printer driver should you start to see drastic improvements and you're getting very close and you just want to finalize it so don't be afraid to clean the channel that's clogged now we're also going to be able to show you uh, uh, the similar thing on an Epson 4900 because it's a smaller printer this is the 9900 and we're told that the same thing works on the Epson 3880 we have a lot of requests on how you how do you clear nozzle clouds with a little small desktop Epson 3880 well it's pretty much the same exact way so 
So you simply turn your printer on in the Epson 4900. It's the very same procedure, just a much smaller scale than the 9900 that we showed you. I'm looking through the plexiglass viewer and once you see the head come out, you simply pull the plug on the back of the machine. Now, I don't have that long hands. I have an assistant here that pulled that. As you know, the plug's on the other side. Then we simply open the case and now we have our head that's able to be moved. Now on the Epson 4900, we take another piece of paper towel. You probably want to make it a single layer, not a double like we did on the 9900. And a little bit smaller, maybe two and a half by five. And again, we saturate it with Windex, the original Windex, not the foaming Windex. And we simply place it in the track, nice and flat, right about in this location, closer to where the head normally parks and we simply slide it over. Now if you get bunching up, then you just want to lift the head up just a little like I just did. And then we close the, the lid and we let it sit again for four to eight hours before we do another nozzle check. After the period is finished, four to eight hours, roughly in there depending on how bad your clogs are, we simply go back into the machine. We push our head all the way to the far right you will see traces of ink on it. We take the, the paper towel out and discard it. At this point, we actually go into the printer driver again under the utility tab and print another nozzle check with just a regular piece of eight and a half by 11 copy machine paper in the paper tray. And you'll be able to see some improvement. If not, you're possibly it's totally uh, cleared for you. Again, you might have to repeat this several times depending on how bad your clogs are. Now, I just want to give you a little tip. What causes clogs? Well, the best maintenance for these printers is to do a nozzle check every three to four to five days. The enemy of any inkjet printer is lack of use. The other thing you want to look at is, well here in the northeast where we're located, in the winter time we turn our heat on and if your printer is anywhere near maybe your base ray heat or forced hot air duct, that will tend to dry your head out even overnight. So you want to make sure your humidity is controlled in your room and your printer is not near any direct heat source. Look forward to the upcoming videos we'll have on other tips and tricks to using the Epson printers. A little bit about Pro Digital Gear. We ship from 21 different states throughout the United States to give you very quick delivery. Pro Digital Gear has climbed to be one of the top Epson wide format dealers in the country. We have a small family business with a big presence in the digital arena. We also sell wide format scanners, specialized monitors, X-ray calibration systems. So we try to be the com complete solution. So once again, please visit us at prodigitalgear.com or simply give us a call at 888-459-1482, toll free. We'll be more than happy to talk to you about your digital concerns or your digital purchases. Have a great day. Thank you.